Puberty is a period in children's lives when they experience physical changes by which their bodies eventually become adult bodies. They develop pimples, hair grows around the sensitive part of their bodies and under the armpits and sweat glands become more active. They want to look good and be seen as mature people. Also, boys start becoming interested in girls and girls start becoming interested in boys. Puberty usually starts sometime between the ages of 10 and 13 in girls and 10 and 13 in boys. When a girl starts showing these signs, it means she is ready to start menstruation. Menstruation, also known as a period, is a natural body change a girl goes through when she is growing up. It is the monthly flow of blood from the uterus through the vagina in all girls and it is completely normal and natural. The first menstrual period normally happens between the ages of 10 and 13 in girls. Menstruation is natural and healthy. The menstrual period lasts between 3 to 7 days. The average menstrual cycle is 28 days. It is from the first day of the period to the next. Girls should visit a health center when they have any problem during menstruation. If you are over 16 years old and have not had a menstrual period yet, please see a doctor. Girls should not fear or worry when they find blood in their panties, on their dress or on their bed. This is normal and part of growing up. It means they have started menstruation. Girls should talk to a teacher, a parent or guardian for advice and support. Some of the ways girls try to deal with menstruation include using toilet paper not wrapped in a clean piece of cloth, plain cotton wool, non-absorbent materials, rough dirty cloth, sitting on sand, sitting on stones, sitting on a sponge or mattress, newspaper, banana fibers, leaves and grass, polythene bugs or bovada. These are all wrong and unhygienic. Using these methods is not healthy. Instead, we should use reusable pads which are either manufactured or homemade, sanitary pads or cotton wool wrapped in either gauze or a clean piece of cloth. As a girl, I am responsible for my body and I know that menstruation is natural and healthy. I look for correct information about menstruation. I use good materials during menstruation like sanitary pads and clean panties. I must keep my body clean and healthy. I will wash my panties every day. I have a duty to keep the environment clean. I need privacy and access to sanitary facilities. I safely keep my used pads and later safely dispose or burn them. I will not miss school during menstruation. I will carry two sanitary pads, a handkerchief and an extra pair of panties in my bag or pocket and I will participate in all school activities. Boys need to appreciate the body changes that both they and their sisters go through and develop a positive attitude towards others. Boys should respect the positive choices girls make. Boys need to understand menstruation so that they can support their female friends and sisters. Boys need to treat all girls like their sister they do not leave them at home during school time. Boys should not tease the girls. They should respect them. Boys should not peep in the girls' washrooms because it is disrespectful. And boys also need to understand the changes in their own bodies. Girls going to school during menstruation face very challenging conditions. They have to change pads and sometimes clothing at least once a day but it is difficult for them to maintain proper hygiene during menstruation without the proper facilities at school. These facilities should cater to their special needs while providing privacy. 
Imagine if it was your daughter facing these challenges, wouldn't you want to support her with the very best? Girls should not feel afraid or ashamed when taking care of themselves during menstruation. They need to have facilities at school that enable them to go through their menstruation privately and peacefully. Additionally, making a special latrine for girls with special needs will prevent them from feeling left out when they require access to a washroom during menstruation. The first major step to improving the situation is for girls to have separate washrooms from boys. This would go a long way to making sure girls have a clean, safe environment to maintain proper hygiene. It would also help prevent curious, peeping eyes and ridicule from their fellow schoolmates. With separate washrooms, girls can maintain proper hygiene without worries. They can even bathe and change so they can stay clean throughout the school day. Hygiene during menstruation is very important for girls and they must have clean water at all times. Also, sanitary pads should be mandatory for girls at school during menstruation. Sanitary pads can either be store-bought or handmade. Sanitary pads can be made from a variety of materials that are easily accessible. However, they should be made with good materials and not bad materials. Bad materials do not take in or absorb blood well. They can irritate or burn the skin and they can also cause fungal and bacterial infections. Good materials take in and absorb blood well. They also help you maintain good hygiene and they are soft on the skin. The school can set up craft lessons to teach girls how to make simple, inexpensive and effective pads. The girls can then make as many as they want. This helps them carry on with their school activities more easily. The school can also have extra dresses for girls so they can be able to change if they need to. With proper sanitary wear and facilities, girls going through menstruation are able to continue school without missing any days. Schools should create a safe environment for boys and girls. Schools should provide training for students and staff on sexual reproductive health, or SRH. Schools should provide guidance and counseling to students. They should also provide the space to do so. Schools should conduct presentations on understanding and managing menstruation for students, staff, and school management committees, or SMCs. Schools should provide training on how to make homemade reusable pads. Schools should provide role models for girls. Schools should encourage and support clubs for empowering girls in life skills. Schools should provide extra uniform, panties, and sanitary pads for girls if they need them. Schools should have a senior woman teacher or an SWT and a senior man teacher or an SMT that are child friendly. Schools should provide special attention to girls with special needs. Schools should provide clean sanitary facilities with clean water, soap, clean washrooms, and private changing rooms. Schools should provide safe drinking water. And schools should talk about keeping the environment green. Our community is made up of local councils, or LCs, school management committees, or SMCs, police, villagers, and healthcare providers. Our community should interpret and circulate government policies that protect children, especially girls. Our community should ensure that budgets address gender concerns. Our community should clear bushes and dangerous pathways for children's safety so that they can reach school and their homes both safely and on time. Our community should guard against destruction of school property like water tanks, latrines and washing facilities. Our community should mobilize resources for incinerators, washrooms, hand washing facilities, and other critical facilities. Our community should organize meetings for awareness on understanding and managing menstruation. And our community should be involved in school activities. When girls start menstruation, some parents think they are now women. Some parents even force the girls to drop out of school so that they can get married. This should not be the case. 
When girls start menstruation, they are still at a critical stage of growth. They still need the support of their parents or guardians to understand and cope with the confusing changes that are happening. Parents, guardians and the people around them should be able to help the girls and give them proper advice. Girls should not get married unless they are at least 18 years old or older. Instead, they should stay in school. Their parents and guardians should also enable and support the girls so that they can stay in school even during menstruation. Parents and guardians can do this by supplying sanitary pads or materials needed for making sanitary pads. It boosts the girls' confidence if they have the support from those around them and girls will be much happier during menstruation as well. They should be free to carry out normal activities even during menstruation. Maintaining a proper diet during menstruation is also crucial to the girls' health. Parents and guardians should make sure that girls eat the right kinds of foods during menstruation so that they can remain healthy and strong. Examples of foods that should be eaten during menstruation include fruits, green vegetables and plenty of water. If we support girls especially during menstruation, they will stay in school and complete their education, allowing them to become productive citizens in their communities and families. Please join us in supporting girls so that they can stay in school. As parents and guardians, we know that our children go through changes in their bodies and value it. We also help them cope with it. We seek and share correct information about body changes with our children. We provide nutritious meals and encourage them to drink plenty of water and to eat fruits and green vegetables. We teach our children about personal hygiene. We make sure our children do not miss school. We help girls manage their menstruation. We provide girls with sanitary pads, panties and handkerchiefs. We also teach them to make and use sanitary pads. And we take girls for medical treatment if they are menstrual problems. As cultural leaders, we should explain good habits and cultural practices such as using a pit latrine rather than going to the bush and how they should wash their hands with clean water and soap. We should discourage bad habits and cultural practices such as washing and bathing in the river or water source. We should break myths around menstruation such as the myth that girls that go through menstruation are dirty, cursed or suffering from a disease. And we should also protect girls from sexual abuse and from marrying too young. As opinion leaders, we should explain myths and discourage wrong beliefs on menstruation and its management. We should advocate for children's rights in the community, like the right to an education, the right to privacy, the right to health and the right to parental care, and so on. And we should also protect girls from perverts defilers and rapists. This message is brought to you by the Government of Uganda in partnership with the UN Joint Programme on Gender Equality with funding from UK Aid and support of other development partners.